welcome to your lesson on how to sew. Uh, so your first step when you're using thread and a sewing needle is to cut your thread pretty close to the top just so you have a nice clean edge so that it's easier to thread your needle. So now you have a nice clean edge there and your sewing needle looks like this. And at the end, one end, it has a little hole. And so what you're going to do is you're going to pinch the end of your string and you are going to push it through that hole just like that. And then grab your string and pull it through. Now what I like to do is I like to pull it so that there's about, hmm, maybe 20 centimeters of string that's folded in half and then the rest of your string is just a single string. Okay, after that, you're going to take your end of your string, so the end that's not attached to your knitting, or your, to your sewing needle, so this end, and you're going to tie it a little knot at the end. You can do it however you want. You just need your knot to be big enough. So see how it's a pretty big knot right there? So you need your knot to be big enough so that when you are sewing with your piece of felt, that it doesn't go all the way through. You want something to catch. So how I sew, um, I'm just going to fold this piece of felt in half so I can show you how I would sew a little tiny uh, pillow. I'm going to cut this as well. So I'm going to uh, poke my needle through. And you have to be careful that you don't have your finger over top of that or else that's going to hurt. So you're going to poke your needle through. And when you pull it through, you're going to want to make sure that you hold it a little bit so that your string doesn't fall out of your needle because it's way harder to get it through your needle once the string has started fraying. And then you pull it all the way to, through until the knot hits your felt. And then you're going to poke it through the other side again. So you're poking it through. Remember, watch your fingers so you don't poke your fingers. And pull it all the way through. And so now what it's going to look like is a single stitch. Now let's look at the other side. So that's our side with our knot and now it's pulled through. So eventually you'll have a line of stitches like this. And so this is what your backside of it looks like. 